Hey, I'd like to welcome you to another episode of the Mission Matters Business Podcast, your source for all things business. My name is Adam Torres. You can follow me on Instagram at Ask Adam Torres. Keep up with my book releases, book tour schedule, signings, all that other good stuff. Always love to connect with you there. And as always, if you'd like to apply to become a co-author of one of my upcoming books, just head on over to the website, missionmatters.com, and click on Become an Author to Apply. All right, so today is a very special episode. Today we have Lisa Williams on the line, with, and she is an author of one of our latest Money Matters books. It's Volume 3 of the Business Leaders Edition, uh, and Lisa's uh, chapter in the book was called Recruiting in a Side Gig Economy. Uh, Lisa, first off, welcome back to the show. Hello, Adam. I'm so happy to be here. Oh, my gosh. First off, congrats on the new book. I'm so excited to talk about it, and it was an honor to publish your work, so thank you. Absolutely. It was so fun. We've had such a good time with you. So um, we're going to get into the content of the book, Um, so definitely recruiting in a side gig economy. We'll go into your background some, but before we do, um, I do want to talk about what you're doing at your current company, which is as Chief Inspiration Officer over at Perfect Side Gigs. Um, You're the woman I'd be looking at for that, so first tell us a little bit more about the company, please. Oh, absolutely. Thanks so much, audience, for tuning in. So. We live, oh my goodness, in the most wealthy country in the world, the land of freedom. And yet so many families I, I've counseled over the years, they live paycheck to paycheck. And the gap between, you know, the wealthy and not so wealthy, it just seems to be getting bigger and bigger. And I found, started my own side gig a couple of years ago and have entered this amazing world of business builder and entrepreneurship. And I saw a need in our country. I've been recruiting for 25 years, and I've I've simply shifted from recruiting for a job to helping families create awareness around business pursuits that they can do on the side, and it's a kind of a combination of coaching program. We do a lot of coaching on business development and mental toughness. We help create a business plan and really dive into your why of why you're doing this. Um, mostly because I feel like a lot of people are living life less than they could be. I know I was. And so I, my goal is to help a thousand families make what they did in a year in a month. And there's lots of business opportunities that can help them do that. Wow, that's absolutely amazing. Um, and I, uh, and you know, at the end, I'm going to give you, uh, some time to, uh, leave, you know, whether it's website or email or wherever you want to send, um, our listeners that do want to connect to learn more about perfect side gigs. Um, but just so that the right type uh, or the right listeners, I should say, connect with you, what, what are the industries and or types of individuals that are typically going to be a good fit to work with you? Yeah, so um, in terms of the, the ideal client, I think that's easiest to understand based on what what I've been, because it really is iterations of people's lives. So mm-hmm. I could absolutely see this add value to Lisa, the college graduate. You know, I was a psych mm-hmm. major, had no clue what I wanted to do, and kind of stamped my resume out like I think a lot of kids do. I would have loved some type of coaching program about entrepreneurship like that. I wish they offered it more in schools to everyone. Um, So it could be that new graduate. It could be uh, where I was 15 years into my career when I went through a divorce and I was a single mom of a three-month-old and a three-year-old. I was so blessed to have a great living that I could, you know, support myself. But I think a lot of single parents aren't in that position. So perhaps you know, that person that's looking to reinvent themselves and maybe enter the workforce again. And then it could be me present day. I've been an executive in corporate for 25 years. I've been blessed with a great income, but I just found that I was no longer inspired and I, I wasn't learning and I wasn't growing and I had stopped dreaming. So I think there's a lot of people like that, you know, we we don't ever get to take the class, like, what am I actually supposed to do with my life? What am I meant to do <laughs> with the gifts that I have, you know? So um, I'm hoping that's what, that's what my prayer that our portal and program can do for people. Oh, that's amazing. I love it. Um, and so let's, uh, let's switch it up a bit. I do want to get into the book. So uh, recruiting in a side gig economy, uh, where do you want to start with this one? What was the inspiration? 
So the inspiration was my customers that I was serving, really, and myself. I, I've been blessed with a career in recruiting for 25 years in the really well-paid areas of technology and financial services. And I just found that so many people that were coming to me, they were looking for a, a new, you know, job but they really weren't super excited about about it. <laughs> Oftentimes, they, mm-hmm. I, I felt like employers were asking more and more of people and not necessarily paying them more. There was so much stress in the work environment. Politics were getting a lot more complex at my own firm, and I found that m- my clients were feeling the same. And I, I just saw a need for myself to grow. And as a result of it, I went on this journey myself and have just been sharing it with others. And I have just found such joy and passion. And I don't even feel like I'm working anymore. I think so many people, they, they get up in the morning and they look in the mirror and they're not really excited about where they're going. And so it's crazy timing. I mean, we've been in, we've been in business and helping families for two years. Um, but we finally launched. That's what I've used this time to do, you know, with um, with this COVID-19 crisis. But my chapter really is about that journey of there are so many wonderful business pursuits that people can can take the skills that they've harnessed in corporate and apply that to their own business. You know, a year from now, they can have a lucrative income stream that can replace their corporate, you know, America income mm-hmm. stream. I've done it. I've been an example. I've seen countless people that have done it. So, yeah, I mean, that's kind of the the start of the, the chapter. In the chapter, and, and to the listeners, we're not going to have time to go through all, all of Lisa's writing. And by the way, even if we did, we wouldn't. Why? Because we wanted you to go out there and buy that book. Yes, we do sell books. So <laughs> you can click on that link and buy a book. We won't, we won't be mad at you. But uh, Lisa, so in your chapter, you talk about uh, turning a side gig into your full-time gig. Uh, can you tell us a little mm-hmm. bit more about that? Yeah, absolutely. So what I found in my own experience is – I really believe that the landscape of workforce in America is going to change. It already has. Um, mm-hmm. I think the days of companies, you know, be, becoming, you know, starting and hiring these big sales teams, for example, I think those are gone. Uh, so many firms use what I call, you know, fractional workforce uh, type models. You know, there's direct direct selling, there's network marketing, there's brokerages that use more like, you know, real estate and insurance model. My point is there are so many ways for people to build an alternate income stream that is so lucrative. You know, the, the firms that I represent at Perfect Side Gigs, we, we fall in the financial services vertical. We fall in the medical device vertical, health and wellness, CBD oil space, you know, legal aid, security. There, all of these, all of these industries have ways that families can create another income stream and very lucrative ways. It's no longer, I mean, nothing against, you know, the the network marketing companies of old. The challenge with that model sometimes, though, is that the profit margins are so low in companies that sell supplements or shakes. Now, that is Mm -hmm. an absolutely amazing business model, though. I love the idea of families working with more than their two hands. You know, I, my goal is to create awareness for people around, you know, we, we love that book, think, uh, Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki, mm-hmm. those four cash flow quadrants. I, I want to help families move from that employee, you know, self-employed category to that business or system, you know, with a system and a investor category that that businesses, you know, benefit from. I think every family should benefit from that. No, I love it. And and it's true. And, and 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 what I love about that also is that 
you're right. Now people can actually learn when, when I think when we used to think about side gigs in the past, it was not necessarily always meaningful income. It was like, oh, you can make a couple extra dollars. You could pay some extra bills. Or maybe if you do really well, you might be able to, you know what I mean? Like pay your, your rent. And which by the way, those aren't small things. I think those definitely have a place. Now just some of the opportunities that out, that are out there and some of the ways that, um, that companies are marketing and allowing people to have access to their platforms to be able to make a living on the side, I mean, just make things really unique. I mean, think about like your, I mean, the obvious case example, which you actually write about in your book now that I think about it, um, is uh, is Uber and thinking about like all the drivers out there and all that. I mean, that's some meaningful income, um, but they're, they're still kind of um, not necessarily in that business category, which is what you're looking to help people to do. So they're still working off their, you know, there's no leverage there in driving Uber. So they're not building a business per se, but they are making money on the side, which still fits into it. Um, so at least so in your chapter, you talk about um, some of your own, um, so you write, here are some of my own insights and advice I would give a new recruiter or entrepreneur. So we're not, uh, you, you have quite a few in here, but I want to go through one or two of them with you and kind of get a little bit more of your opinion on them. So um, yeah. first one, always start with a goal to help someone. Tell us a little bit more about that. You know, as a recruiter, we have such a privilege to walk beside people in times of really exciting times when they're looking for something new, but also when they're struggling, you know, if they've been laid off or something. And my, I just love people personally. I think that's one common trait with recruiters. And it's such a privilege to, to help someone. You, you can't actually truly be sad when you're helping others. And I've really never thought about selling as selling. It's really just, it's kind of cliche, I know, but it's really just finding a solution to a problem that someone has and helping them, you know, take that initiative and actually make that choice for them. So I really just feel like from a helping standpoint, every stage of someone's career, if you can offer advice, if you can, I, I do so much for complimentary, you know, when it terms of Hey, let me help you with your LinkedIn profile or have you thought about, you know, exploring another opportunity with a different industry, you know, different things like that. I think um, if you always go in with the idea that you can help someone, then you're going to win regardless of whether they actually buy from you or not. So another one that I have to, because this one, this one was one of my favorites in there, and this one resonates with me. And I know a lot of listeners, and obviously you, because you wrote it. Um, but if you see, so you put, um, we often attribute strong mentors to our success early in our career. We also continue to seek mentors through every stage of life. Be sure that you give back as a mentor yourself when you get to that point. Tell us a little bit more about that. Oh, absolutely. One of my favorite topics. So when I landed in recruiting quite by accident, by the way, which most recruiters do, I was blessed to have this mentor at my previous company, K-Force. Her name's Crystal LeBeau. Hi, Crystal. I hope you're watching, listening. She, I would not have been where I'm at today without Crystal. She took me under her wing. She guided me. She has such a wealth of knowledge. And to this day, it's it's one of my favorite things to do is mentor others. I would tell people, you know, the minute you start recruiting, you're going to find out in the first three months if you ever want to do it again. And if it gets <laughs> in your blood, it, it, you you won't stop. You're stuck. It, it's it's <laughs> natural. Um, I actually, I, I have a, an interview series that I just hosted. It's called Corporate to Entrepreneur. And one of my guest speakers, um, Christine, Christina Dave, she said, this was a great analogy. She said, think about yourself as a third grader. You are like looking at that fifth grader and you're like, oh my gosh, I wish they would just say hi to me, you know? <laughs> and, and, you know, then you, then you become that fifth grader. And so her, 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 her goal was really, you know, seek out that fifth grader, but also remember that third grader that you were and be sure that you always give back to, you know, others in community that you can, you know, share your knowledge with and pull them up as well. Oh my gosh, that might be the best analogy ever. <laughs> like when you're like, because you just took great? me, you literally I just know. took me back to third grade and fifth grade, and I'm like, Remember? oh yeah, they were so I know. cool. <laughs> you know, it's funny because I have uh, two two boys. I was going to say little boys, but they're way taller than me now. But 
it's funny that you say that because my oldest, Cameron, they were they had like two years when they were in school together. And Connor, my little one, Connor would come home and he'd be like, Mama, Cameron said hi to me today. And it's just like, oh, my gosh, I hope your brother says hi to you. <laughs> oh, my gosh, that's amazing. Yeah. Uh, so I, I love it, too, because I think, um, I think that uh, it's also just representative of what you're doing and your mission behind Perfect Side Gigs. And so the right. idea of being a mentor and paying it forward and helping others and taking them through that journey that you did, I mean, that's, that's, it just makes perfect sense. And, uh, that's why, um, I feel that your clients are definitely, um, benefited by having you and working with you. Um, so I think that's amazing. Yeah. You um, know, one, um, one comment I'll make just to, before we get off mentor topic is one of the, one of the vetting periods that I go through when I, decide to represent a firm, which all of the firms that I represent on Perfect Sidekicks, by the way, I'm either drawing an income stream myself or I'm benefiting from the product or service. They all have firms that with incredible backing, they've been around forever. But one of the big things I was looking for was an amazing mentorship program, because I think the hardest part for me about moving from you know, employee to business builder and running my own company has been that shift from employee mindset to to entrepreneur and business builder mindset. And without a solid network of people that are examples of those that that have been in your shoes, they have a starting point and now they've reached these fabulous levels of success. It, it's really, really hard to be successful, I think, if you don't harness that that mentoring that I think is absolutely crucial. That's awesome. So, Lisa, I know um, when we get talking, we can talk all day long, but we're about out of time for this episode. So that being said. No, um, we need yes, to do another one, Adam. We will. We will. Don't worry. Give me some more people on the show. We'll get you on there. <laughs> <laughs> so that being said, um, if somebody's listening to this and they want to, um, so two-part question. So if they want more information um, on perfect side gigs because maybe they had their company that maybe want you to represent them, a number one or number two the other side of the question there's somebody that's that are looking for an opportunity i mean what's the best um the best ways for people to follow up and learn more yeah so go to perfectsidegigs.com um also if you want to get to know me a little bit more you can look me up on linkedin that's that's my business tool of trade so i have more of a presence on linkedin uh, my kids are helping me get more social media savvy as is adam so thank you, Adam, for having me. And your, on your show, show, your show. Don't forget your show. Talk oh, about that. Oh yes, yes. And Come we on, are you're... To be, Oh, I forgot. Yes, we are going <laughs> to. Okay, actually, actually, there's two things. Um, I would love you to tune in to an interview series that I launched. It's called Corporate to Entrepreneur. You can go to www.corp to entrepreneur.com. We have, we have I interviewed 25 plus um, millionaires that went from corporate and now they're leading successful businesses. And we are going to be launching the Lisa Williams show journey to your better life with um, hopefully Adam Pelt podcast and YouTube series as well. Fantastic. Well, Lisa, really appreciate you coming on the show today and uh, sharing more about all the great things you're doing over at Perfect Side Gigs. And again, congratulations on the new book. I'm really excited to have published your work. Honored to do that. And to the audience, as always, thank you for tuning in. Without you, there's no show, so keep on tuning in. And if you're following us for the first time, definitely give that a subscribe. And uh, also leave us some comments if you're watching that on our YouTube channel on Mission Matters Business and leave us some comments in the video. Love to connect with you there and uh, keep the conversation going and lisa thanks again thank you adam and i would just say one last thing friends if you say yes to anything say yes to yourself hire yourself that's my goal for everyone <laughs> bye adam <laughs>